Hi, my name is Chow. Are you fascinated with all of the exciting games on the Wii gaming system, but never been able to find one because they're just so hard to get? Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your laptop or your desktop PC into a Wii system. We're going to try to do it for under $50, and the best part is it's going to take 10 minutes or less. How about that? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started, shall we? For our project, we're going to need a Wii remote, a Bluetooth dongle, two infrared LEDs, and some wires. Step 1. Building a sensor bar. The Wii sensor bar is actually surprisingly easy to make. All you have to do is follow the schematic diagram from WeBuilder.com. Just to show you how easy it is to make one, I'm going to build one now. Just to save time and because I'm terrible at soldering, I'm going to use what's called a breadboard. It allows me to connect up components really easily and that's why what makes it efficient for prototyping. Now all we have to do is connect up our battery and here's our sensor bar. Step 2. Connecting the Wiimote to our laptop. The Wiimote talks to the console using Bluetooth. Our laptop can also pick up the signal using one of these. A USB dongle. Just to show you how to establish connection, I'm going to pop the dongle into my USB port. And as you can see, it is now detected by the driver. What you're seeing on screen here is the application window of the Bluetooth device. In order for the Wiimote to be detected by the Bluetooth device, I'm going to press the 1 and 2 key on the Wiimote. Flashing blue light indicates the remote is trying to establish connection with another Bluetooth device. The joystick icon indicates that our laptop has picked up the remote, and now I'm going to right click on the icon and choose connect. And two seconds later, our remote is now connected to our laptop. Believe it or not, we're actually all done. Our Wii system is complete. 
Let's have a quick recap, shall we? The Wii system is made up of three components. The Wii console, the Wii remote, and the sensor bar. What we have done is we replaced the Wii console with our laptop plus a Bluetooth dongle. We're keeping the Wii remote because it's much easier to buy than the Wii console itself and it only cost about $40. For the sensor bar, we have replaced Nintendo's proprietary sensor bar with our own custom-made infrared LED sensor bar. Together with the sensor bar, the Wii Remote detects motion from the player and sends the data to our laptop using Bluetooth. Now that we have the system built, it's time to have some fun and test it around. I'm going to run a game that I wrote. It's a Wii-like shooting game that I can move my Wii remote around and the cursor will follow. And I can just point and shoot, point and shoot. And the scores will add up. You can also download this game at my website, WeeBuilder.com. And on the website, you can also find tutorials that teaches you how to make games like this. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please visit WeeBuilder.com to find detailed instructions on this video, some demo games that you can play, and a bunch of tips on how to create your own game. Enjoy! Bye!